Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome back to Gomer Plays Mega Man 5 The Redo. Last time we got a good foothold into Proto Man's Fortress. I can blast those things through the shields, which is really amazing. Um, something you normally can't do outside of a fan game. <laughs> which, hey, you know what? That's pretty awesome. Um, and now we're going deeper into Proto Man's Fortress. What? Um, but anyway. Um, so... So, uh, yeah, if you've, if you've noticed, like, like this entire series and, and all of that stuff, that the title cards look a little bit more generic this time around. Um, that is not, that is kind of more by necessity at this point, because as I've mentioned in previous videos, as these videos are going up, I will be on the road. I, I'll be traveling, you know, doing it, having a driving job and all of that good stuff. And so, of course, I can't, and I can't, you know, I have to work up a buffer. And so... You know, and that goes with title cards because at the time of recording, it's like, like a day and a half or so before I head out to Chattanooga. Um, <laughs> so, ah, damn. Anyway, um, so I'm having to work up a whole bunch of buffer, and I don't have time for title cards. Um, and and of, and of course, just like the other title cards for these series, it's it's a team effort between Becky and me. Uh, Becky does the logos and you know, a lot of the major hand-drawn artwork. I usually do, uh, sprite work. You know, like, if you look at the Mega Man 4 redo title cards and back that way, um, you'll, you'll see that, that's me doing the sprite work, um, and that's basically just making a, a me, ver Mega Man version of me in some kind of comical and or awesome situation with, um, a Robot Master. Usually didn't extend to the Fortress stages, at least not in Mega Man 4. Um... But yeah, the the yeah the the uh, the simplicity of it is just mostly out of necessity and time, so that's all. Uh, so yeah, like anybody's wondering, yeah, you're oh no, he's getting so lazy with the title cards. What happened to the other ones? Yeah, like people actually wonder about that, right? <laughs> but for those who do, there's your explanation. Ah, no. Ah, but yeah, and now I kind of want to talk about something that's actually come up by the, at the time I'm recording this. Uh, by the time this goes up, it'll probably be a couple of weeks old at this at this point. Um, but um, and then that's something Becky has told me about um, as I uh, as I started to record this episode. And that apparently is some people are getting really pissy that a game is taking out panty shots. Uh, I want to say I, I think it's Skullgirls or whatever. And it's like people in, in like I said, people are getting pissy over it. And it's like why? You know, we live in the age of internet porn. You could easily go and see panty shots of, of almost anybody, probably. Um, just, just Google search, Google panty shots, and there you go. Whew, that's a close one. You know, it's like why, why, why worry about that? I mean, if you, okay, it's like this. We also live in an age where if you want something in a game, you know, if you want to see something in a game or whatever. You get some fuckers together and make the game. Or learn to do it yourself. I mean, we have game maker programs out there. Some of them are free, some of them are not. You know, you know there are some really good free game making programs out there. And the ones that aren't free are usually worth the price. You know, you have RPG Maker, you have Game Maker, um, you have Construct 2, which is another one that I have lying around. Um, it's just, there's a lot of options out there for you. If you want to make a game, and you wouldn't have it be nothing but, like, panty shot the game. You know, I mean, oh my. Oh my, indeed, wow. Yeah, I'm so busy ranting, I'm getting... Gang... Bum rushed, oh dear. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty. Okay. Ooh, oh shit! Oh shit, 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 shit. Run. <laughs> um, but yeah. Point is... There are options for you guys out there. If you really, really must have panty shots in your game, then you know what? Make your own. That's all there is to it. And that's and that's the beauty of the you know, more game making programs coming out. It's simply, hey, ow. It's simply, hey, you wanna make a game, you want a game to have a certain thing, you have the tools to do it. You know, and there are plenty of videos out on YouTube to where you can educate yourself. Uh, like I know, I know of a YouTube channel uh, run by Sean Spaulding, who actually, I think he works for Yo-Yo Games now, but he's he's made like little tutorials for Game Maker, 
you know, platforming basics, all that good stuff. How to make things work. And you need to stop being a little shit. Ow. Motherfuck. Come here. Come here, you little shit. Okay, there we go. You know. But anyways, they're, they're, the tools are out there, guys. We can make our own games. It's not going to be easy. But we can make our own games. The tools are literally out there, and you can find them on the internet. Well, you can find them on Steam if you got enough money for them. And even if you don't, there are free making programs out there. Wow, this video turned into Gaming Rant the video. <laughs> oh, but you know, sometimes sometimes we need to have one like that, you know, because the stage is, you know, it's a typical stage, you know, conveyor belts because designers hate you and Kaizo traps. You know, what much what more can I say? <laughs> so, it's good to have some ranting material on hand. Ah, but, ranting material aside, uh, hopefully that'll get the comments generating. That would be nice. I would like, I would like to see people discussing that in the comic comments, uh, or, or even saying, hey, you know, you know, you know, talk to me, debate with me about this one. You know, let's, let's talk this out. You know, that'd be awesome. I have a conversation. Just bear in mind, I'm on the road at the time this video is going up. I may not get back to you right away. So if you, can, if you can wait, then yeah. Um, but there's also my other social media, so that I might be able to get to you quicker with. So at any rate. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying it. hope you enjoyed the conversation in this one, or, or at least the topic of discussion in this one. <laughs> Maybe I should do more. Do more, like, topics of discussion in, in videos. But, um, it depends on the video, I guess. But, uh, at any rate, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And, of course, leave comments, especially on this one. I want to know what you guys think about all this. Um, again, I know by the time this goes up, it'll be, you know, a few weeks old. But, but I really would like to know. Um, but, and of course, constructive criticism is always welcome. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.